Hello and welcome to Stavanger, Norway, nicknamed the oil capital of the country. It also has a vast nautical history. The MS Rogaland, the ship here, served the coast of Norway between 1929 and 1965. Culture also comes in the form of sport. World Mixed Doubles Curling Championship 2019 is hosted here this week in Södermarka Arena. In session 12, Italy will play China. In Group C, Let's meet the teams for uh, Team Italy. Amos Mosaner plays alongside Alice Cobelli. Sören Gran, the coach for the Italians. For China, Soto Jia plays with uh, Fu Yiwei. Zhang Wei, the coach for the Chinese. And that's the standings in Group C so far. China on top with uh, Czech Republic and Wales with two wins. France and Italy sits at one and one. Australia, Croatia and Nigeria yet to pick up a win in Group C so far here in Stavanger. Those are all the games to be played in this session. France will play Czech Republic, Canada plays Belarus, Australia take on Croatia, Japan to play Romania, also Nigeria will play Wales. Let's uh, take a look at the rules of play. Two players, one male, one female, and we have one pre-positioned stone per team per end, five stones to be played per end per team. The game is scheduled for eight ends, and both the teams will have 22 minutes of thinking time. The players will throw either rocks one and five, or the middle three rocks. They can switch positions if they want to, but there's no takeouts until the fourth played stone every end. And at some point during the game, the teams might call a power play. But all these rules, if you're not familiar with them, we will uh, bring you up to speed on what's happening. I'm Sandra Olvog, and I'm joined by curling expert Tabitha Peterson. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. We see uh, Italy losing out in the draw shot against China. So China with last one advantage as we get okay. uh, started. Should be, ex should be an exciting one. Should be a close game. There's been a few lopsided ones uh, this week with 48 teams. There's some strong competitors. There's uh, some newcomers. But uh, two strong teams on the ice this afternoon as we see Alice Cobelli. First uh, draw coming around that pre-positioned guard. Si, 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 si. And you'll see that pre-positioned Yellowstone for China in the back of the forefoot. This is a really good start by uh, Italy. Yep, that first placement of that first stone is very important. You either want to freeze it on that back one or anywhere in the top four foot is a good spot for that first stone. Foi Wei comes out to uh, that draw down. Oh, okay, that's it. Oh, now, now. She competed last year in the Mixed Doubles Championships in Sweden. It's a bit heavy here with the first throw. Just hang on back 12. Here is Amos Mosaner. 24 years of age, but he's been around for a while now, playing a lot of championships alongside uh, Joel Retornaz. Picked up a bronze medal at the European Championships earlier this season. Had a really good run at the World Championships as well in Lethbridge, just missing out in the playoffs. This one also coming up heavy. We've seen this few times this week, throwing a couple of rocks down the same line, it really keens up. And they actually have to put that yellow stone back in play. Too early to remove any stones yet. Yeah, a, a violation of the modified free guard zone we have in mixed doubles. Not allowed to remove any stones, including your own even if it's in the house. But uh, that free guard zone is up now. So Duja could play a take out, but he'll be more interested in making his way into the button. Hello. 
七页，八。哦，现在是是非常大啊，是非常大。八区八区九，是非常大，非常大。九区，还是要下线啊？九区，下线擦一下。Another heavy draw coming down here. Neither team really picking up on the speed. Before it got very quick on them. They are taking edge of eight foot, which is maybe a little less ice than we've seen in some previous games. So that could mean it's, if it's straighter, it could be a little quicker sometimes. Feels maybe a tad warmer in the building today. Sun's out. We get the clock going here, hog to hog. I think we're been seeing Somewhere close to 14 and a half seconds on a draw. Mm -hmm. See if it might be closer to 15. Oh, no. Almost Mozaner. 14-1. Should be there. Not necessarily a lot quicker, just uh, no. teams Great getting, get, getting uh, just a bit caught out early on. Get the first end shakes out of the way. It's normal to see the ice be all slow in practice, right? And then it keens up as you play. Take some rocks going down every path to kind of get the ice up to speed. You do end up playing a lot of draws coming home the other way as you battle for that uh, hammer. And of course, you play the first end going away, so. Might be a little bit different. And the ice does change throughout the game, so teams do have to be aware of that. It could slow down as she some she of the it. pebble comes off. So they were trying to throw, I think, board weight or so. It's not curl enough. Italy still sits two in the back of the button, back of the forefoot. Chance here to warp another one in there for Italy. Just the wrong side of the tolerance for, for China coming up deep. Seems maybe more beneficial coming up a bit short, if anything. That is the tolerance, generally. Behind the T-line, you can get in trouble. This one doesn't need any help either, but gets it right on there. Oh, Has played a, a lot of uh, championships up in fourth position, was honor, even though he uh, did play third last time we saw him at the World Men's. But has uh, generally played the fourth rocks quite a lot, even in juniors. So I'll have that uh, touch, but we, we also know him to, to play some huge bombs down the ice as well. He can throw some big weight, yes. That might be useful, we might see that later. And uh, speaking of big weight, looks like China is looking to run the guard back. It's a good call here for China, since they do have a hammer. Open it up, if anything. Throw this really hard. Lots of rotation, trying to take the ice reading a bit out of it. It's going to go pistol straight, runs the guard back, and gets contact. It's one of them out of the forefoot. Very good effort, just uh, a little bit unlucky. Catch that hair different. It might be a lot better. But now if he decides to run it again on his on the on their last stone, 
at least it's their own color going into the rings. A first international competition for uh, Alice Cabelli, okay. first time international championship. Okay. And of course, si line, eh? some real good support. Mozaner has been Linea, occhio, si. pretty much uh, si, at everything. It's a good partner to have, lots of experience there. Being able to coach her on the way. They are going to make this hard on China. Superali. That's a great Perfectly. shot. Bravo. Two really good draws by Kobali in the send. Remember, uh, lock the first one on as well. Great touch. No, <laughs> So a big trouble for China here, first and last rock. Four EV. Not a, not a lot of room for the draw. Not a lot of room for error here. She's got to get a piece of the button to score. Hoping to at least outcount some red ones. Need a little piece of the button here. On the button goes past. Just going to slip a bit too deep. And it is a steal of three for Italy. Really good end by the Italians. They jump ahead, yeah, yeah. three to nothing after one end of play here in Stavar. Italy will get us going here in the second end. Stealing three in the first. This time, Kobali taps the yellow a couple of feet. Is that okay? Is that a good result? Or? I would be happy. I mean, the line is great. The big thing is you don't want to hit it and roll off and create a pocket. So the line is okay on that one. That does open up the forfeit a bit more. Mm -hmm. One of the games yesterday, we had 12 rocks in the forfeit. That happens sometimes. Oh. 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 
Seems like the first two shots of a mixed doubles end really dictate where the, the end is going. Definitely. And China just again, a little heavy. I don't think they've come up short on a single draw yet. Yeah, hopefully they're communicating about that. I don't know if they're getting some times or talking about how they're throwing it. But that's big in mixed doubles is to keep that communication going. With some backing, an opportunity here for China. They can take a little bit of weight off to freeze it right on that red one. was the alternate for the Chinese team at the 2014 Olympic Games on the bench for Lu Rei as they placed fourth. Maybe now eyeing a, an opportunity to play the Olympics at home in Beijing in three years and maybe in the next doubles competition. Yep, 2022 Olympics in Beijing. They are turning the 2008 Swimming cube into the ice. Puoi aspettare quella linea, non devo tirarla giù. C'è, tirarla su. Devi stare free spieni. Sulla gialla bottom free spieni, sì. That's a good shot. Free spieno alla sua gialla. Amos represented Italy at the Olympics in Pyeongchang as well. Silai. Si un po'. Oh. Come si un po'? Perché si un po'? Perché sembrava che scendesse. Ma male. Sembra che scendano, ma non so come le tue che fanno così. Eh, lo so, scusa. Va bene lì, eh. So China's sitting one, but Italy has some good rock positioning on them. Almost making a nice corner freeze there. Hard sweep on this one. Looks like it's going to come up a little light. And it does tick the center guard. They can maybe use that one later, but... Here's the coach for Italy, Swedish Søren Gran. Of course, coaching in Sweden to begin with, but he's been many places but seemed very comfortable in Italy now. Been being there for quite a few years. Himself a world junior champion, went undefeated in the 1982. Possiamo giocarlo anche da questa lì forse? Sì? Sì. Devi passare a filo della guardia. Eh? Passare a filo ah. della guardia. Lo so. Allora giochiamo di qua, ok?
Kilai. Just still coming on the end turn here. Looks like a pretty snug port for uh, Mozaner to navigate through. That's the guard. Gets a little rub on that yellow rock top 12. And that works out well for Team Italy. Mm. Okay. Uh, just light redirect there. Just barely. Okay. Looks like China's going to follow. <coughs> Shang Wei, coach for Team China. Quite a few number of staff for the Chinese. They're certainly <coughs> getting ready for the Olympics in three years. Putting a lot of uh, funding into the sport. More and more events being held in China. On Arena Ice. And of course, we have the uh, curling, curling World Cup. Making its debut this season. Two, two of the events being held in China. Next one is the grand final in Beijing in a couple of weeks. Not sure if that under curled or over curled for, for China, if they were coming through the port and just yeah. stayed wide. Or if they were trying to tap. Italy trying to figure out if they're happy with the force or if they can try to remove that yellow one. Hitting that side red one into the yellow. Okay. Just got to hit a piece of the red one pretty hard. Quasi tutta, penso. La vedi tutta, sì. Shake lì. Vai proprio di braccia. Coming out with lots of weight. No sweep yet. Need a little piece of their own red here. Ooh. Not quite. Ah. Decent effort by Cobelli. Only, only curled for about two years. A young 21 years old. Clearly a very good uh, teacher. And Amos Mozaner. It's a little surprised they might have not, not have played the, the yellow here. Obviously, this is the shot for China. Come off the yellow on the right, spring across onto the button for two. It's an aggressive Whoa. call by the Whoa. Italians. Whoa. Yeah, up three, you could argue you're happy with forcing to one. <clears throat> but sometimes you got to decide when to take chances, and China misses that shot. And that does not come off for Fo Yiwei. Just a single point for China. Mm. They're going to have. To pick up their game a bit here, they're down 3-1 to one on Italy after two.
就正常投拍片就行。嗯，你要是往三四投的话，我下线插能给你插回来。行，不是插差很多。胆量小，五六六十人几？你进，四五四，你进。你们这边是四的。We won the score. Italy leads China. 这球就是掉下来了，两下。China, 然后到中线这一次，那就偏色了。Coming up、uh, a bit heavy on quite a few draws. This one comes up a bit short. Yeah, making an adjustment, but taking too much weight off. Just an over correction. Yep. Linia, Mos Linia, Linia. Ali Chekobeli has been pretty good with her draw weight. Leaving Mosaner a bit of room to sweep here. Wraps around that yellow and comes in top four again. Really nice draw, weight control. So important in mixed doubles. Keep your weight. Keep your weight down. And she has found it. Putting the pressure on China. So to Ja, breaking a sweat here. Popped up to sweep right away. I seem a bit flustered. That weight seemed okay, just the line was too tight. Punto dietro di qua. Fine forfoot. Scopa. Dove di preciso. Fine rosso. Ticking that center guard can change things in an end. Di là. Forcing you to draw down different paths. Okay. Just the guard for Mozaner, but maybe coming up a little heavier, heavier than expected. Reveals their stones in the forefoot. China might have a chance to hit them. He may be able to get both of them here, depending on where he hits it. Wow. Just over curls on them. Things not improving for China here. Yeah. They need to try and get out of uh, this end here without giving up too many points and maybe need a little chat with the coach at half time. Everything they've been practicing on is just not showing on the ice at the moment. But it is only the third end. Mixed doubles can change in an instant, so you definitely got to stay with it and not give up. Buona quattro due. Spazio. Only down two for China right now. Quattro due. A meno. Italy trying to protect their stones, and they will do just that. Never mind. 
Tady vytěláš rám behluje. No ne, malý guardia. Čau, nejco. Ty. So Deja will get one more crack at opening it up. You throw the metal rocks, uh, Tabitha, when you play with Joe Polo. Do you ever feel responsible for leaving <laughs> something good for, for him? Oh, all the time. Yeah. Being able to make a run or a double peel if you're in trouble is very important. Because sometimes leaving the player a really hard last shot is, puts a lot more pressure on the last, the last throw. This one over curls again for Sodaja. I was almost lucky to get all the redirect, but did not catch any of the reds in there. As we take a look elsewhere, France up 2-0 on Czech Republic. Canada up 3-0 on Belarus. Australia up 4-0 on Croatia. Japan 2-1 on Romania. And uh, Wales leads it 6-2 playing Nigeria. Lots of curling fun this afternoon. Of course, we have the World Senior Championships being played as well just next door. No senior games at the moment, but I'm sure they'll be back on the ice later. All eyes on the mixed doubles discipline. Really curls here. Mentioned how it I was looking, if anything, a bit straighter early on. I'm not sure if it, if it is. I'm not sure either. Maybe just over curls a bit too much there. Great weight again. So so does China try to freeze that top one and hope it's protected enough to only give up one? Or do they try to take a few out here? Well, you tell me, Tabitha. <laughs> it's a tricky shot. Either way, looks like they're opting for a draw. Just trying to yeah. cut down the score. Freeze the shot stone here. He might be uh, get away with just giving up away with a single point. Positioning on this stone is extremely important to not give up. Cannot afford for to over curl and bounce out in the open. This is looking pretty good from Fu Yiwei. Taps it a little bit. Not bad at all. Good shot by China. <laughs> Lifesaver. Yes, that was. <laughs> see, to try and nose the yellow. Uno rosso. Looks like they can see enough of it to maybe <laughs> play a downweight takeout, and <laughs> even if they jam it. Yeah. On their red, they'll still score a few points. Or you can throw it harder and make sure that it gets out of there, even if you lose your two reds. Trying to catch this yellow on the beak. You stay too high, though, you run it straight back, and China might even score a single. But it's for a big prize here, if they can make it. Worth the risk, up two for Italy. Vici Cobelli. Not liking this one, starting to curl. Mozana trying desperately to hold the line. Ah. And it does jam. redirect off their own red, jams the yellow. And China actually steals in an end, dominated by Italy. That's that's what can happen, just one good shot by... For you wait, and it's a 3-2 game. Jesus. Peccato. Mamma mia.
sì, però se facciamo una guardia era più difficile. Eh, lo so, però devo pensare più questo. Oh, ci vediamo, no? Sì, ci vediamo, ok, lei dà. Tida. Leo! Oh, ci vediamo, ok, io. Stessi! Leo! Stessi! Stessi! Oh! China steals and all of a sudden it's just a one point separating the teams, although you feel it at least been the driving force. They've been putting a lot of pressure on this Chinese team. But China's not giving up. Making a few key shots. Sometimes is all you need. Gonna give uh, China a bit of a boost here. Momentum swing. Definitely. Sì, sì, sì. Ma è veloce? Sì, tanto. Allora, oh. Pelizza with the draw. A little bit heavy, and it does wreck on the Chinese stone. Dimmi and rolls to the veloce, back eight so foot. So and China Bye will Bye -bye. try to suck okay. another one into the center. Not touching this one either. And this will roll back 12. Again, just being heavy on that line. is not the tolerance. T-line. He thinks it's about T-line weight right now. T-line. Giving it a heavy clean. 14.57. And this one is carrying. Back four foot. Okay. Big shot here for China. They can make this freeze. Let's get a time here to see how quick it is. Hog to hog split time. Helps teams determine the speed of the ice. And that was a 13 8. This reaction. Pelo più corta piuttosto. That 13.8 is a little bit heavy from what we have seen the past couple of games. Nice tee weight has been in the 14s, 14.4-ish. Another rock down that same path. Not a bad result there for Italy, but still behind the T line. So China can sit on them. So when you play a few rocks down the same line and you 
come up heavy time and time again? Is it just muscle memory or is it just not believing that the ice is getting quicker? Yeah, I mean, there's so many factors, right? Was Am I throwing it on the same line? A lot of it is muscle memory. You think you have draw weight dialed in and sometimes you can't get that kick out of the hack out of your system and push out a little lighter. Sweat dripping off of Sol Deja's nose. Oh, getting a little extra pebble <laughs> on the slide path. It is warm. Yeah. It is. I am not cold up here. No, so I we're, can imagine. we're just sitting down, so. Yeah. I have, this one looking really good. I have brought a towel on the ice myself. Maybe that's what Sol Deja needs. <laughs> Maybe overcurled a little bit. China can maybe, or Italy can maybe come down and corner freeze or tap it a little. It is fully, fully covered under the center guard though. So they're looking at. Running it in or opening it up, since they do have the hammer. Make sure they score here. Well, we might see that uh, big weight from uh, Mozaner. Huge kick out the hack. Get a time on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to over curl. A little bit does spill a lot of rocks, just not the right ones. Does roll the shooter off the center line though. Mm -hmm. To open it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not even sure which stones to sweep. Yeah, they're all moving. Throw a guard here and steal your one. Okay. Yeah, guards are sometimes tricky on mixed doubles with one sweeper and maybe nobody calling line, but you can guard, you could possibly try to hit that lonely Italian stone out and put the pressure on them by sitting four. So the angles are a little awkward for that though. <laughs> Does look like a guard or a draw even? I'm not sure if they need to come into the house here. It does leave a, a double for Italy. I wonder if he plays the same shot, just six feet shy. Does the trick? Playing a bit with danger here, though. Yes. Yes. You gotta be careful on this one. You do not want to pick out your own red. And they're just going to throw this one away, play it safe. Maybe after the last end when they were sitting to score yeah. and gave up a steal, maybe yeah. they're being a little more cautious. Will be a steal of one for China. All of a sudden, it's a tied game, three points each at halftime. Teams will have a little break. And I'll be back soon with more. You put this out here. This was. No, 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 no. Before. You put this here. No. This.
That's important. But you know, it's, that's the way it is. Maybe play more easy, me, and then Alice can play mm. another shot instead. Because we know they had the freeze, the freeze there. Yeah, yeah. But if you play a guard, maybe two, yeah, for sure. If they just freeze it, they anyway lose one, not yeah, two. Yeah. So, no, but uh, I think the thing was you overcurled a little bit on yours. Yeah, exactly. If that had been like half a yeah. stone more, it yeah. has been okay. So, I mean, hey, we're talking this more yeah, now. Yeah, no, no. no. So I know you're disappointed. <laughs> First end. Italy lying three. Tough draw for Fu Yiwei. Comes real close, but just slips a bit too deep. And Italy does score the three points. In the second end, a chance for China to come off their own yellow. Roll in for the second point. So, just a bit wide on the throw from Yi Wei. Just a single for China, struggling a bit through the first two ends. Also, lots of pressure on China in the third, but great draw by Yi Wei. Leaves a hit for Italy. Just over curling actually jams the yellow onto their own shot stone. China steals one. Jesus. With that steal and four, it's all tied at uh, three and three. And no surprise, Italy outplaying China in the stats. But we know that uh, the only really important number is what's on that scoreboard. China starting to pick up their game. Other scores, we see tied game between France and Czech Republic. Canada up four to nothing on Belarus. Australia in control on Croatia, 6-2-0. Japan leads Romania 4-2. And Wales leads at 7-3, playing Nigeria. The teams are back on the ice for the second okay. half. Tied game. Italy had uh, some really good opportunities. Really putting the pressure on China, but it is all tied after four. But maybe some of that uh, frustration shown by China early on is now shared by Italy. Yeah, they're clawing their way back. This has been a game of steals. It's been really good with uh, her draws, Alicia Cobelli. Just uh, the hits that she's been uh, struggling a bit with. She's been left a few hits as well. No surprise. Good weight on this one here. Yeah, really good draw weight. This one just over curling a fraction. Yeah. 
母六，小日丽丽。量少的话可以点线差啊，线路偏大一些。六区，还可以啊。线路，没问题，直着推就可以，不用下线，不用下线。哦。Very peachy from Sodaja. Walks that right arm. Out. Finding their draw weight a little better this second half here. Maybe some wise words from the coach. Yeah, what what can you do as a coach at halftime? In those few minutes you've had coaches talk to you yeah, and many half times over the years. Goes by quick and sometimes you gotta run to the bathroom and get a snack, so anything the coach can fit in, whether it's just some positive words or some you know, a little bit of advice about what they're seeing on the ice, sometimes they see a little bit different than the players on the ice. No, Baba. Pada Yugaji. But words of encouragement are always helpful. Okay. Asking for some help on the sweeping here. Yi Wei comes out to try and drag this as far as possible. Get a little tap on the elbow. And so did Jaw. Seems to have found his draw weight. Two good ones in a row. Now we're seeing more rocks piling in the forefoot. Più interna la prendi meglio, eh? Eh? Più interna la prendi meglio, eh? Piena la rossa dobbiamo prendere. Ghiaccio! Tap their own red here. Not bad. Not bad. The angles are good for Italy for a setup shot, possibly. And those two reds sort of angled right onto okay. the pocket of the back button. China trying to disturb that with their shot here, though. Okay. I see a couple of reds go here. I throw some big weights, slash the yellow into the pocket. Makes it perfect. So the Haja on fire here in the fifth end. Three real good shots by him. Mezzo. Mm -hmm. Putting the pressure on Italy. Something they've uh, really failed to do so far in the game. <laughs> right away, Amos Mozaner calls the run back and. Knows it's time to bail. 
See the, the mood of the Chinese improving yeah. with the good play. Big weight again from uh, Mozana, runs it back, gets wow. some action oh, on the yellows. A little unlucky on the jam. <laughs> to be that precise with no sweepers. <laughs> Pretty good, but yeah, just yeah. Well, unlucky with how that worked out in the end. <laughs> he knows it. Seeing a little frustration from the Italians. <laughs> 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 Didn't curl enough? It's not a horrible result. Not a not horrible sure they result. Can, I don't think Italy can get all three to score two, so... And a double to give up one. Mm -hmm. Be a uh, fourth consecutive steal yeah, okay. for China. And again, left a hit here. Ali Ciccobelli only played about two years. Yeah, that can be a strategy for some teams is to possibly find a weak point in a player's game, whether it's an intern or an outturn or hitting versus drawing and trying to force that player into that type of shot. Not looking too happy here at Cobelli, but what she got? One, two. Jams it and leaves two Chinese counters, two points and another steal. China up five to three after five ends. China leads it five to three 
But uh, something's happened here, Tabitha. The, the rocks are not in the their usual place on the center line. They are playing their power play, it's called, where the pre-placed stones are a corner guard and a rock in the 12 foot and eight foot. So keeping the center open is an advantage and that's why the power play is you'll usually see it played when you're down a few and you need to score. Or if you're up a lot and you're trying to keep maintain your lead. Okay. And China cannot hit yet, so they are going to just follow those shots down and make a freeze. So it doesn't curl as much as they wanted. Since that line is not usually played when we're seeing all those outside and draws to the center, it can be hard to read the ice going inside out. It's a different shot that you don't see often enough in mixed doubles. One or two times a game, really. Wanted that one to stay on top of the yellow. Oh my goodness. No, it's not hard to uh, see how Amos Masaner feels out there. <coughs> Playing a pretty good game, just maybe feel like the game is slipping away bit by bit. Playing the hit back. This one needs to curl. And it will roll further than they wanted. But China does still lay one. Bye, bye. So trying to decide if hitting the Chinese stone now is the right time. Sometimes if it's your power play, you'll kind of wait. Try to get more of your stones in the rings and then make a play on the stone, but they are choosing to hit it now, it looks like. Okay. And there's less time in mixed doubles. If you uh, think of this as a, a men's or women's game, this would be the third last rock. Quite often the, the time to make that move. Mm -hmm. 
There's a draw in the end. I thought they called the hit and roll. Changed it at the end, I guess. Just going to try and load it up here for yeah. a big a big end. But they do allow China to play a draw as well. Hoping for a missed or half shot out of China here. And maybe they'll have a chance at a double if China, China rolls off giving Italy a double. But if China makes this one good, Italy might lose their hopes at a bigger end. Both the Chinese players live in Harbin. He's not touching this one. It might just rub off. Oh, trouble for China rolls out in the open. Chance here for Italy. Sanders going to relish at the chance to make a double here and sit four. Put some real pressure again on Fu Yiwei. Wait again. So you got here, Mozana, one, two, but spells his own reds a bit. Kills one. I wonder if they might just be lying to two. Yeah. Needed to curl another inch to lie four. But he did make the double, and that was the important part. China discussing, well, they did call a timeout. Zhang Wei comes uh, down to the ice level. Just by the cleaning there, it looked like they might play a, a freeze, a draw. Mm -hmm. Cleaning the path before the final throw and the send for China. Try and corner freeze the shot stone, perhaps. Yeah. Either way, difficult shot. A lot, not a lot of room for error. Any rub off, like we saw with the other draw attempt, Italy can remove it. I think they were looking at the run back. That's. Bit, bit of an all or nothing shot. Mm -hmm. Just trying to <laughs> snuggle up against those reds here, Team China. Looking pretty close. And that's a very nice draw. Don't have the left an angle for Italy. Possibly. Looks like he's seized. Huh? He can maybe get rid of both yellows. So the thought here hit the yellow. It's going to tick that redstone next to it across and hit the uh, yellow on the wing and the blue 12 foot. Could be four. Could be four. Alice Cobelli 
haven't quite been able to pull off her, her hits, but this would be a real good time. And Italy's power play end. Down by two. Last stone, sixth end. For a big score. Early on the sweep. Amos Mosanart trying to hold the line. Past the guard. What do they have here? They are passed. One. And don't move the red far enough. Great shot, though. Still good. Yeah, I take it. And it's three points for Italy. And all of a sudden they spring ahead by one. It's a 6 5 game after six. Karen Stavanger. Linea da girare, eh? Eh, no, c'è secchia. Tanto. Andretti. We're in uh, Stavanger, Norway, for the World Mixed Doubles Curling Championship 2019. You're listening to myself, Sandra Olvang, joined by curling extraordinaire, Tabitha Peterson. And that's power play once again this time for China power play back to back ends here worked out well for Italy they scored the three China hoping for the same yeah deciding when to use your power play is a strategy in itself because you don't want to not use it and then if you don't have hammer coming home and you could possibly lose it. Whoa, whoa. Hard. And never use hard, it. Hard, hard. Trying to get around it at the end there and it just ticks it. <laughs> not allowed to make a hit here. Italy not even allowed to remove their own guard, even if they wanted to. Power play didn't always exist. There's been a few real changes in the mixed doubles discipline over the years. And this, this is probably one of the bigger ones. How did you like the power play, Tabitha? I think, think it adds to the game. I definitely like it, yeah. It's a nice change to the normal drawing around a center guard and it opens up a lot of chances to score big ends. So I think it's a good addition to the game. Sometimes we see teams use it as a defensive tool as well, not necessarily as an aggressive one. That's a tight game coming home just to keep it open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, saving it for the last end is could be a little risky. Um, you know, the team, if when you're playing the seventh end, they could possibly try to let you steal one so that you can't use it in the eighth end. All right here for Italy and China, it's all about scoring big. 
，点心，点心，点心，点心，点心。我，那也点心啊，点心，点心，点心，粘死自己的都可以点心啊。粘粘粘粘。So the job struggled early in the game with draw weight, but the last couple of ends he's been very precise. Seamus Hanner still no, not playing so the job, but really putting some pressure on Mozaner here, the Chinese. Linea. Oh. Freeze davanti. Allora. Pretty good. Yeah, trying to corner freeze. He does get shot rock out of it. It's a little scary to attempt to get rid of it for the Chinese. They don't want to jam it on their own. How much can they see of it? Half, maybe? Trying to get to nose here, as close to nose as possible. Of course, you jam the red onto either yellow, a lot of the momentum is going to come off of it. You might e not even be able to get it out of, out of the eight foot. It does curl, but you can't overthrow it. She yeah, you'd probably almost rather crash on the guard than jam it. I will crash on the guard, but mm. by quite a lot. Actually, raises it right down into the house. That was not called for. Not what they wanted there. The power play end for China. Looking a bit spoiled. So whether he threw less weight than he wanted there or didn't take enough ice. Tre vicina. No, lì, giù. La mista sul ghiaccio di prima. Three, four, one. Eh. Freeze, freeze. Anche di più forse. Prendi ampia. Sì, aspetta. Vai, vai, vai. That's a great shot. Taps it and locks it right on. What does China do here? Only two stones left for China. Trying to figure out if they can score multiple. Maybe discussing if they make the freeze on the red full eight foot that Italy might have a raise, angle raise on the red one in the 12 foot to get it out. <coughs> but this might really be their only shot. Light. 
wrecking on the top one. Italy sits one. Pretty close game between uh, Kobeli and Iwe. Yeah. You can see there the, the draws for Alice. Been very good. Not so much on the hits, but made that really good one for a three on the power play. May you spin for you. Another hit coming up here. I think uh, just a nose hit on that yellow thrown by China. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do to force China to just score one. Looks uh, pretty good here. There you go. Just jam it, but Italy will buy at least one. Starting to make her hits as well, Ali Cicobelli. Looking at the slash, is it worth the risk or do you just draw for the one? Mm -hmm. But you're down the point. Well, score one, you're tied. And a game that's designed to steal. They're going for it. Or do you risk giving up the steal of one and you're down two with the hammer? Yes. Last Hard. rock on its way here. Yes. China's Hard. power play end. Slash in the yellow here for a multiple score, but they end up slashing oh. in the red instead, and that's going to be a steal of two at least, maybe three. We're going to have a look. Mm -hmm. Is it just a two? Looks three Looks from three. here, but hard to say. Might call for a measure Out. here. Yeah. That risk certainly didn't pay off for uh, the Chinese. Yeah, it did we'll get the measure. Trying to catch the uh, yellow, but over curls catches the red and spins it into the forefoot. Rattles uh, all the other stones around the eight foot as well. The uh, micrometer comes out. Dial turns. It's pointing at the red steel of three for Italy. Wow. And with that, it is a nine to five game for Italy. Will China play one more? I think they will. Oh, 
Marcare punti per me vuol dire fare punti, cercare sì. di fare punti. Eh, mettine lì, metti lì due bei punti e poi inizia a bocciare per tirar via le sue. Non ne ha tanto spazio, linea! Linea! Continua, se no va troppo giù. Italy, China, eighth end. And this game certainly has had everything. Italy all over the Chinese at the start, picking up a three and putting some real pressure on them in the ends that followed, but China was able to get out of trouble and end up stealing four consecutive ends no, no, no. in the lead. Italy scores a three and their power play. And a bit of a bizarre call from China on their last rock in the seventh. Gives up another steal of three. Italy with a huge advantage, nine to five. As we enter what is quite possibly the last end of play. China needs to score four for the extra end, and this one coming up short. Not a lot of rocks left to do it. So how do you play this one if you're Italy? You just best uh, defense is offense? Or? You will, well, in the beginning, but as soon as you can start hitting and it's not risky, you're going to try to start hitting. For now, coming around the center guard. Looking elsewhere, close game, France, Czech Republic, 8-6. Canada picks up the win on Belarus, 9-0. Australia beats Croatia, 10-0. Japan also with a win over Romania, 11-3. While uh, Wales picks up another win as they defeat Nigeria, 10-4. Taking a few extra seconds here. So do Ja again, breaking that sweat. Working hard. No, Chi Ye. Oh, oh. This year, this year. Oh. 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 Good shot there. Tapping the Italian stones behind the T line. Well, Italy can't really hit any stones, not in the house, anyway, so it seems like they're just going to keep the pedal to the metal. Mm -hmm, you got it. China hoping for some half shots out of Italy here in the eighth end. Line. Lascia indietro, vai dietro. A little bit heavy this time, uh, Mozana. Choosing to sweep it past. Loud counts the back yellow. Do you feel confident when you're up four like this, or are you, are you always a bit nervous in a mixed doubles game? Any, yeah, anything can happen. I mean, up four seems like a comfortable position, and most of the time it is, but you see teams get four or get five, and it's crazy with so many rocks in play.
having to move uh, these red rocks now, maybe, China? Yep, makes them more room for more yellows. They have to play a little bit of a tap here, tap those Italian stones back a little further, but also stay on top of, on top of them so Italy can't make a, a hit. Sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Just looking to squeak whoa. past the guard here. So the jaw. It's trying to curl. It doesn't quite move. The reds leaves the shooter in the open, and that's what they were looking not to do. A very available hit for Amos Mozaner. Yeah. I, think, I think he's going to throw the heat once more here. You can see as, as soon as you up the weight a bit, it runs a bit straighter for you. Yeah, you oh. see a lot of big weight in mixed doubles without sweepers. Sometimes you just want to throw it hard to kind of get the curl out of it. It was not a great ah. slide by Mozaner. It does kill the yellow. Kills a couple oh. of his own reds as well. <laughs> that was a bit of a shaky effort. Taking a look here. That's just kind of his back foot, not finding its place. Yeah. Worried for a second. He's going to go right past everything. Well, China has two rocks in the house. Two rocks left to throw. They need everyone to count. The good, good news is the two yellows in the house are buried in behind cover. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Not over till the fat lady sings. <laughs> and I'm sure the Italians know that very well. Trying to get by the guard. Does get by. That's a good shot. So do you get draw or do you try and slash the red onto the yellow? Yeah, removing that back yellow stone would win the game. Um, but it looks like they're choosing to draw or freeze, and then China will have to maybe make a double if they can. That seems like probably a bit more room for air with the draw. Even yeah. end up just throwing the guard, makes it hard for China. You're anywhere in the top of the eight foot behind the guard, uh, at least. Just by even an inch becomes a very tough double for the China. I would lean towards the hit. Well, Alicia Cobelli has been pretty good with her draws so she far in the has. game. Yep. Just yeah. sticking to the preferred shot. Wanting this one to settle down. Where are they going to leave it? Don't want to leave a double for China. A little heavy here, might have to come around everything. They're definitely going to group these reds, but what kind of angle is left? I think they might get away with it. Okay. Not happy there, Kobali, but... You see her slide also just... A little bit shaky, but... Been curling for two years. Seems to be doing quite well. I agree. And the double does not look easy for China. It's not easy, but they have a chance. They have a chance here. Is it there? Gotta squeak by the center guard and the ones in the top four foot. Slide wide and <laughs> throw it back in. Get it to curl a little more. Okay. Okay. Almost seems like that's what you need to do. Yeah, that looks completely buried. We're going to give it a go here, China. 
Well. What do they have? Last stone, eighth end, need to score four. Yeah. And this one's hanging out there. Needs to dig, it needs to really swing. For the Chinese, it's not going to. Just the two for China, not good enough. Italy picks up the win and a roller coaster of a mixed doubles game. Strong start for Italy. China came back, but in the end, Italy able to close this game out. I know. Must needed win for the Italians as they sat at one and one for this game. China drops their first uh, game here in Stavanger. Fifth end, Italy in trouble, trying to play the double to cut China down to the one, but two yellows hang around, and a two points for China, a 5-3 lead, Italy getting a bit frustrated, calling their power play, and a chance to actually pick up four. And for Alicia Cabelli, finally the hit yeah, is made. Not for a four, but gets the three and the lead. Quite Jumping ahead to the eighth end. China needs to score four. Is there a double there? Hard to yeah. say. Okay. But it doesn't come off Thank for Fu Weiwei and Team China. Only scores the two. Italy picks up the win. Nine to seven. That's all the scores in the session this afternoon. France beats Czech Republic ten to six. Canada picks up the win on Belarus nine to nothing. Australia beat Croatia ten to nothing. Japan picks up another win eleven to three over Romania and Wales with a win over Nigeria ten to four. Just waiting to get a word in with uh, Team Italy after their win over China in our featured game. As we see the uh, ice makers get ready to get another session going here in Sudmarka Arena. As we wait, we take a look at the standings in Group C. Italy with one and one. Well, they will move to two and one. China will drop their first game. Wales, they say perfect. With a win over Nigeria.
we have uh, Team Edley with uh, Tabitha Peterson. Congratulations on the win. So switching gears for you from the men's world just a few weeks ago, coming here, how were you able to switch your focus? Yeah, for me, it's, it's uh, my first time on play mixed double words. And uh, I played just the worst man two, three weeks ago. Yeah, it's not easy because it's, I think, no, already another sport like usual, but I think uh, it's still curling and yeah. I mean, uh, we try to do our best and uh, yeah, that's it. And this is the first World Mixed Doubles Championship for both of you. How much have you gotten to play mixed doubles together? Yeah, we just played the Italian Championship together this year. And the last year, so the second year, we played together because Alice played from play curling from three years ago. So we just played the uh, Italian Championship, no tournament, because uh, we have uh, a lot to play on the men's side. And then we, we don't have so much time to thinking about uh, mixed double. And then we try to play good as much as we can. And then we try our best for Italy. And this game, it was fun for the fans. It was a little bit of a roller coaster. Um, you guys came out strong, stealing three in the first end. It was a game of threes and a game of steals. How how did you feel in the middle of the game when it seemed like China was trying to slip back in it? Yeah, it was a lot of up and down this game. And uh, yeah, we, we started uh, pretty OK because we made a lot of good ends and make uh, pressure on them. But uh, China, it, I think it's a really strong team and they come back pretty OK. And then we try to stay calm as much as we can because it's, it's not easy when they come back and then they go up than us. And uh, we try to play and just uh, not thinking about before and uh, go further. Well, it worked out for you guys. Good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's it for uh, the curling for this session from the World Mixed Doubles Curling Championship. Thanks for watching. I'm us here in Stavanger. We hope you tune in again.